Welcome everybody to Hobby News. Two articles so far this week. We're going to go ahead and get those pushed out now. Starting off, we're going to talk about the grading company's data that's provided by Gemrate.com. And then we'll move into the GTS warehouse in California being broke into. What the thieves stole. They're looking for two trucks. All right, let's go right into it here. Gemrate data. Now, this is all provided by gemrate.com. I will put a link in the description down below. So, normally we do this a little bit different, so we're going to hit some of the high points of this here. September 2022, PSA up 21%, 1.083 million, so almost 1.1 million cards. CSG dropped almost 50%, down 90K last month. SGC down 8%, they're up to 69K. Back it. Wow, 63K. Now, I'm wondering how many of those are the raw card reviews they're counting in there. Because I know they've been in a lot of shows pushing that raw card review. No idea. But I'm sure some of that's all into it. So looking at this stuff here, it says the total graded cards across the major graders increased by 11%. That's pretty significant overall. It means they're pushing a lot more volume out. Um, CSG lost four business days due to the hurricane closure. However, the CSG business in particular was down meaningfully compared to the August prior to the closure. So, ah, you know, you're, you're going to have that where, you know, weather or something's going to prohibit what you're doing. We're getting towards that time of the year. A lot of uh, hurricanes, tornadoes. Eventually, we're going to start hitting snow and ice storms up north. So we're, we're going to see that a little bit here. It did say Beckett regained some momentum after relocating your offer, or their offices and offering a 20% discount across their service levels. Another big thing there. Scrolling down here. Grades by categories. You can see PSA still, big one, TCG, followed by baseball. I think a lot of this does probably hit in the very end of the COVID uh, time frame. And we're all moving now into all the... Uh, $30 values, the $18 specials and stuff, so a lot of people trying to get stuff pumped up. Uh, you see basketball still up 3%, football up. I mean, a lot of big uh, volume. We looked at soccer. We're getting ready for World Cup. We're going to be expecting more of that stuff there. But pretty big overall when you start looking at that stuff. If you look here, and this is the one thing I wanted to show here. Uh, well, let's, let me hit this here. Maybe it'll load, maybe it won't today. There we go. My bad, mouse was uh, sticking on to me here. So items area this week, if you just look, they give you little bar graphs and stuff on too. If you really want to dig into the numbers and everything across the board. What I really thought was interesting on to this, they're doing the eras. So a lot of newer stuff across the board going out. You're looking back, you know, up to about 13, 12, 13, or 12 years ago. Then we're starting to go further and further back. 70s stuff, lowest 60s. I mean, just interesting to see how some of this stuff is breaking it down across the board. And this is by era. Then they got the gem rate um, breakdown by era. More stuff onto it. But a lot, if you're into bars and grass and stuff, this is just a lot of knowledge out there just to show how much stuff is going on out there. Uh, there was one fact in here I'm trying to find. Oh, 62% of the cards in September were manufactured during or after 2010 compared to 52% in August. So a lot of that newer stuff, everybody's been holding, waiting, and they hit that $18 special boom right there. But pretty good stuff overall. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. It'll give you a lot of the numbers and stuff if you really want to dig into it. Charizard. Just barely above Michael Jordan by about one point, was at 6%. So, Pikachu now underneath Michael Jordan. Shohei Atani's new up there. I'm trying to see here. Herbert, big time coming through. Brady, Kobe's are dropping down with what people are grading. Burrow, of course, for the football season. Surprisingly, LeBron is uh, dropping down in the list because with him going out and getting ready to break the record, I figured people were going to vamp up just waiting for that opportunity. Lamello Ball, big thing, and then Mac Jones. All right, let's move on to the second piece here. 
this I heard about this originally, and then I found an article. So Sports Collectors Digest actually did this article. Again, link will be in the description if you're interested in looking at the whole thing. Basically, somebody broke into the GTA, GTS distribution warehouse in Southern California, and they took a lot of high-end cases. And what was really interesting is they actually label this stuff down in here. It doesn't really give a whole but much about, you know, how they got in and all that stuff. But check this out. 1718 Flawless Basketball. 1920 Flawless Basketball. 2021 NT Basketball. 21 NT Football. 2021-22 Revolution Basketball T-Mall. 21-22 Obsidian Basketball. They provide two pictures here of the vehicles that they found in the parking lots that used the theft, a white truck. I don't see if it says anything on to it. No. Then this darker truck here, which I'm sure somebody eventually is going to find out who it is. Because look at the damage here in the back. And I mean, honestly, this truck should be pretty easy to pick out out there. Somebody out there is going to be like, I know who has that truck, and it's going to be leaked. So in case if you do have any information, you guys can hit the link down below. GTS is asking for help. And you can hit the facility manager, Bill Otani. And not related to Shohei Otani. This is just Otani. Um, the email address is there. Surprising, though, that's one of the warehouses of a distribution company broke into. I mean, we've heard about card shops in California get hit. I know the one up here in Louisville got hit into, and they came through the roof. Through the freaking roof went down. I mean, it was like something out of, um, oh, uh, the Tom Cruise uh, movies. I can't remember what, what the Mission Impossible is, where these dudes just, like, came down into there, just took stuff, and up and out they go. They'd leave a big mess when they came through. But... As we start creeping into Christmas time, we all know there's a lot of thievery going on, packages and stuff like that there. So just a side note, if you do mail me anything, use my P.O. box, please, because even though I'm usually home or I have my mom here, we could always uh, grab packages and stuff, as long as she's here and not back in Pennsylvania. No big issue there, but you don't want to leave packages on the porches starting right around mid-October on out here. People just drive by looking to steal that stuff. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. See you guys next video.